Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and have a really great day. In this video, I am going to be basically doing a speed run of building a RTX 3080 mining rig into this 12 GPU mining frame as you guys can see here. You guys probably saw me build one a couple months ago in a live stream and so I'm just gonna be basically doing that exact same thing but I'm gonna be using a few different parts here just in, in terms of power supplies, okay? So I'm gonna explain that in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Before I explain all the parts here, I just wanted to mention that you guys voted for me to build it in this 12 GPU mining frame. And the other option was to build it in this Minebox 12. And you guys voted for the mining frame instead. But actually you guys voted for giving away all of these RTX 3080s, which obviously I, I would love to, but that would be quite insane. So instead, I'm gonna be giving away a HP server power supply and it is a 1500 watt, I'll just show you guys. It's a 1500 watt power supply instead. And I will include a breakout board and also uh, PCIe cables as well. So uh, all you guys gotta do is just simply, just post if you are in Canada or USA and a positive comment about anything. And uh, yeah, I will choose the winner in a couple days after this video is released. So uh, guys, get your comments down below if you guys wanna win one of these brand new 1500 watt HP server PSUs with the breakout board and uh, PCIe cables. Okay, so let's go along with uh, what parts I'm gonna be using quickly for this RTX 3080 build. So you guys know the frame I'm using. This is very similar to one I've done before. Next up, we got the Zotac B250 mining motherboard. You guys have probably seen me talk about this before for the past year or two now, and these are one of my favorite boards. Really amazing board. Back then, they used to cost like 25, 40, 50 dollars. I think now they cost way too much, but I'll have a link down below to exactly what I'm talking about, but I don't think they're for sale anymore. And so I have it coupled with a Intel G4400 and four gigs of DDR4 RAM. I have a typical SSD, and also I have the six RTX 3080s, all right? These are the Asus Tough editions. You guys may have saw that video where I did have these in a mine box 8 server case. This exact one right here, but I have eight RTX 3070s. You guys can watch that video. I'll have a link down below if you want. And then the couple with these Asus Tufts are the GPRisers.com risers. All right, thank you to them. They sent me these for the build today. All right, really nice white style risers, blue USB cable, and the PCIe one adapter. I'll show you guys that when I build it. Okay, going along, we have the power supplies, the heart of the mining rig. So we're gonna be using two 1500 watt HP server PSUs here. And uh, you guys can see here, 1500 watt, 200 volt to 240, all right? So these cannot run on 120, all right? For people that may win this server power supply, be mindful that you will have to run this on 240 volt, okay? So something like you will need to have like a 30 amp breaker, 240 volt, or you can do 20 amp, 240 volt as well. Some of you may have seen my power setup videos. So basically I have three 30 amp breakers and then plugged into those outlets are 240 volt 30 amp PDUs, all right? Capable PDUs and I have basically the, you know, the power supply is going all into the PDUs. You guys can watch that video just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here, but yeah. So coupled with these power supplies, I'm using a parallel miner. This is a ZSX breakout board. And the best thing about it is it has the ATX cable, all right, the ATX power cable here that plugs into a typical motherboard. So I was going to use a RevTech motherboard, which doesn't require the ATX, but for this build, I wanted to do this because of the ZSX board uh, capable ATX, all right? So also it has PCIe, also has plugs for the fans as well, so that's all good. And as well, we have another breakout board, which I'm just using a simple one for the other 1500 watt here, all right? I'll, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna plug that all in, but I'm basically gonna be putting three RTX 3080s on each power supply here, all right? That's the configuration I'm gonna be going for, just so you guys know. Okay, let's quickly build this. I'm just gonna go through part by part and step by step real quick here. This is not gonna be a POV or anything. You guys I may have saw those other how-to videos. Okay, so let's begin. I'm gonna start by putting in the motherboard. So let's put in the motherboard first. Okay, next thing I'm gonna put in is the HP server power supply with the ZSX breakout board, all right? So we're gonna plug this and also the cables 
into the motherboard, okay? So here we go, three, two, one. Okay, I got both power supplies in and uh, we're, we're not gonna plug this in yet until we do the GPU, so I'll explain that later. But the main ZSX board and 1500 watt is plugged in uh, into the motherboard, you guys can see, and uh, like the daisy chain off of the 24 pin from the ZSX board also goes into the eight pin CPU. Okay, so now I need to plug in the SSD. Let's do that now. Okay, SSD is in. I got the SATA power from already the Molex cable that goes into the ZSX board. It was already plugged in, came from factory already from Parallel Miner. Okay, so there's a Molex there, already in there, that goes into another Molex and SATA. Uh, for the hard drive, okay? And then there is a, another Molex cable here which we can use for something else. There is a Molex for the motherboard which I am probably not gonna plug in because uh, the, the risers that we are powering today are all gonna be powered by PCIe. So we technically don't need to plug this in. According to what I've been reading online, other manuals, other people as well, I have had experience with this board already and I haven't had the need to plug in this Molex on this Zotac B250 mining motherboard, okay? So, because like I said, the risers are already gonna be powered by PCIe already, all right? So, now, my friends, before actually we add in the graphic cards and the risers and everything else, we wanna plug in a monitor and make sure it boots into HiveOS. So I already have HiveOS already pre-installed on this SSD. Uh, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that. I've, I've shown you many times before. If you need to learn how to put HiveOS on here, I'll have a link down below to a video. Okay, so let's just verify we can see this rig in HiveOS. One sec. Okay, so I got the network cable plugged in and also the power cable for the power supply. Okay, now we simply turn on the ZSX board. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, I just realized this is a brand new motherboard, so we're gonna have to turn on the motherboard by shorting the two pins right over there. Okay, there you go, now it should turn on. Okay, normally we would plug in a power button. I actually don't have an extra power button for this rig, but most likely when you guys buy a, uh, I don't know, a mining frame maybe, or you have to buy a power button on Amazon. I'll have that link down below, all right? So, all right, looks like it turned on. Let me just verify I can see it in HiveOS. Okay, it shows up just fine. You guys can see there's the Zotac B150, Zotac motherboard, G4400 processor. There's my SSD, 500 gig, kind of wasteful, but uh, that's all I had on hand. Okay, so verified it's on. Now we need to go and add a GPU. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, where we're just gonna simply shut it down. So here's the power button. And there we go, it's shut down. Now I did miss a step, okay? We're supposed to go into the BIOS on this motherboard and set 4G decoding and all that stuff. But I just realized in past history, the B150 motherboard, Zotac motherboard here, already from factory, already has the 4G decoding and all that stuff already pre-enabled. So we actually don't have to touch the BIOS on this specific motherboard uh, specifically. Other motherboards out there, you most likely have to go into the BIOS and change those settings. 4G decoding and PCIe Gen 1, all that kind of stuff. We'll see once we add in all of the GPUs if we're gonna have any issues and uh, then we'll most likely have to go into the BIOS and check the settings. But anyways, we're gonna add in one GPU. We're gonna add in the first 3080 and also a riser and then we're gonna test it, all right, with one GPU. We're not gonna go full bore and putting all six because it's just a best practice. You wanna test out everything just methodically as you go along and building your mining rig as uh, just see if you come up with any errors. So you guys will see a GPU added right now. Okay, the first Asus Tough 3080 is in. You guys can see PCIe cables are in. The PCIe, the riser is connected. Uh, the USB into the motherboard is not connected. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, there you go. All right, first PCIe slot. We're gonna test it out, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's see if this turns on. Let's go to the ZSX board. I'm gonna hit the power button. 
and it turned on okay now we have to turn on the motherboard <laughs> yeah the GPU turned on you guys are probably gonna find that pretty trippy because uh, the HP server PSU once you turn it on it turns the whole power supply on but we have to turn on the motherboard manually and we can set in the BIOS the uh, AC power on okay so that will then turn on everything automatically when it receives power so there you go okay so we'll see if we can see this in Hive OS okay so it just booted up and yeah we can see the RTX 3080 now we need to apply some overclocks here so we're gonna go to overclocking tab in Hive OS and we're gonna do the absolute core clock okay memory clock I'm just gonna do I think 2400 and uh, let's do fan we'll do I think these will get pretty hot I'm just gonna do 100 power limit I believe 225 is the go-to on this 3080. Uh, you guys know absolute core clock the feature that a uh, video that I did a couple weeks ago uh, that uh, you know we can save a little bit more power with this Hive OS feature uh, absolute core clock okay so anyways now we just need to save I'm gonna save that now I'm gonna go back to overview now we need to apply a flight sheet which uh, I'm gonna apply the Ethereum Zilliqa one second okay so I just applied my ETH Zill uh, flight sheet. I will have another video talking about you know dual mining Ethereum and Zilliqa together. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Config has changed. We're just gonna refresh, and it should start mining pretty soon here. So let's just verify that it can mine. Let's go to uh, remote access. Hive shall start. So we'll want to remote into it just to see how it does in mining. Okay, we're gonna type in miner. And let's see, oh, we got some errors. What's going on here? Okay, is NVIDIA driver installed? Okay, well, that doesn't seem right. Okay, it's working now. I simply just gave it a restart and I also did change my overclocks. I think I didn't have enough power limit. So I gave it a bit more, also gave it a bit more memory and I have the core clock and fan, everything else was the same. I just changed these two and now we are able to get almost, yeah, 100 mega hash, 99.4. You guys can see the power consumption there. Okay, so there you go. We are now mining just fine. Now we need to shut her down. So we're gonna go to uh, stop miner actually. I'm uh, gonna stop the miner just for a couple minutes and then we'll shut it down and then we're gonna add the rest of the graphic card. Okay, so it just shut down. I'm gonna have to press the power button on the power supply right there. Okay, there we go. All right guys, so we verified that it mines just with the one GPU and this whole setup. Now, we need to add the rest of these graphics cards, okay? The five Asus Tough 3080s. So guys, I'm gonna do that all in one snap here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, look at that, they're all in. I've done some cable management as well. Not the greatest, but the best we can do with you know HP server PSUs and these kind of cabling. So, you guys can see I am utilizing now the second power supply with the breakout board, 1500 watt. So now total we have 3000 watts capacity for six RTX 3080s, which is a bit overkill. I mean, it's good to have capacity just in case, you know, these cards go back to stock clocks, okay? But anyways, I've explained that many times before in many videos. I'm not gonna do that again, but yeah, you guys can see. All right, you guys wanna see the hash rate? Let's do it. Let's turn it on. Okay, so we do need to turn on this power supply first before we turn on the other one, all right? And the reason for that is I actually don't have the cable the four pin like floppy cable that connects to the other ZSX board there that is supposedly supposed to signal when that turns on it'll also turn on this power supply so that's unfortunate so we'll have to turn on this one first okay so here we go all right and those top three GPUs which I have that breakup board plugged into is on okay so now we need to do the other HP server PSU so here we go we're gonna turn that on right there and yeah these bottom three have turned on okay now finally we need to turn on the motherboard because I don't have it on automatically and actually I did find a power button it actually did come with this frame okay so here we go three two one 
All right, motherboard turned on. There we go. And just to verify, you guys can see the power button is plugged into the uh, motherboard header right there. Okay, so that was uh, quite a truck to turn three different things on. The power supply, the other power supply, and then the motherboard. All right, so let's verify we can see this in HiveOS. Yes, there we go. It is mining. It just started. And you guys can see we're getting about 595 mega hash for the whole rig. That's pretty good. Okay, so one of the GPUs, I do have a bad silicon lottery one, which is looks like it's going to be GPU 1. So, I mean, it's not bad. I just have to up the power limit and overclock. As I was remembering my old video that I did with these same cards in a server case, you guys probably remember. So yeah, it was in this rig right here, <laughs> as you guys can see. Look at that. So the overclocks that I had, I am just basically going to copy it. So give me a sec. Okay, so I just edited up another 10 on the memory and also went to 250 power limit. Okay, so now, yeah, we're at 99 mega hash, almost 100 mega hash for each of the cards. And I think we are thermal throttling on this last RTX 3080 here. So let me just hit refresh. And I think over time, I think we are going to get some thermal throttling. So one thing I also forgot to do is that I forgot to add the fans on the mining rig. This is where I'm supposed to be adding the fans right here. And I don't have any 120 mil fans. So that I will do in, I guess, another video and I can update you guys on the temps. But I just realized I am going to have an issue or not an issue. I need to figure out where am I going to put this mining rig because you guys know I have all shelves and most of my rigs, well, some of my rigs fit on the shelf like this. Okay, so I, uh, I don't think this 12 GPU mining frame is going to fit anywhere on here. It's not. So I'm going to have to put it on the floor essentially. And so I think I'm going to do it right here for now and uh, see how that goes, okay? But anyways guys, there's my RTX 3080 rig. It is back online. I finally have this on and uh, I, I had these cards sitting for a while and I felt really bad. So anyways, finally, it's good. Let me know what you guys think. It looks like it's working good with all this stuff here. And oh, we can't forget guys, we can't forget the server PSU giveaway, okay? So 1500 watt server PSU up for grabs for giveaway today, guys. Get your comments in if you are in USA or Canada and just a positive comment about anything, anything you guys want about what's happening, whatever, anything. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts on my six by RTX 3080 rig here. You know what, I'm just gonna like, just show you guys just some more close-ups of it. Just in case anyone is curious of how I got this together, okay? And here's what it looks like on this side. Okay, and I'll show you guys the ZSX breakout board a little bit closer. Okay, there's the other server PSU right there. PCIe all plugged in. Okay, my cable management is okay, not the best. All right, there's the other HP server PSU with the breakout board and the PCIe cabling. The Zotac B150. I think I mentioned 250 earlier, but this is a 150 chipset, and there are the risers all plugged in. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and peace out.